Es más fácil para mí hablar con un mexicano. Mi, mi, mi mujer es de Argentina, es muy difícil comprenderla. Hablo, sí. pero, o sea, se escucha perfecto tu ah, español. Es, es más fácil los mexicanos para mí. ¿Sí? Sí, sí, sí. Pero, Aprendí en México cuando tenía 15 años y, y, y es más fácil. El, los argentinos es muy difícil comprenderlos. Pero tienes un, un ligero toque puertorriqueño, tal vez. No sé. <risa> no Está sé. bien, es, es, es padre, es buen, buen toque para Es una mezcla. Exacto. Yeah. Every human being has a basic instinct to help each other out. So, tell me about this movie that uh, you, you have to learn a lot of things, not just as, as Spanish. <laughs> you have to learn a lot of things to, to sound like you know what I'm, you're talking about. Yeah. This marginal thing. This a lot astronaut. of science. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah, but the book, I thought, you know, the book that it's based on did a really good job of that, where, where you know, something that might not be kind of normally the kind of book that I would, I just, I loved it. I, I you know, I understood all the science. It was very clear. And when I first met the writer of the screenplay, he said, I want this movie to be a love letter to science. And... <laughs> And I think, you know, the science is really understandable. Here it gets lost in the mountains. People coordinate a search. If an earthquake levels the city, people all over the world send emergency. You know, you, the guy kind of lays out, all right, I'm on Mars, I'm stuck. Here's what I need to do to survive. You know, I, I, I need air, I need food, I need water. And he just very kind of, kind of logically and practically kind of goes about each, um, how to how to secure each thing for himself this instinct is found in every culture without exception and so I, you know hopefully i think that'll be something people will find interesting i mean i did when i read it and that's that's why i wanted to tell the story now you are an expert in space yeah twice I, you have been there <laughs> lost in it's space. true it's true <laughs> but i'm kind of the you know the kind of expert in space where you know if things get too rough i take the helmet off and i ask for a cappuccino and someone brings me a cappuccino <laughs> at around 4 30 a.m our satellites detected a storm approaching the aries 3 mission site on mars the storm had escalated to severe you have a lot a big a big cast in this movie yeah yeah i mean i look i've you know I've been really lucky the whole career that I've had and and uh, you know it's been it's it's been great in this movie to be able to work with Ridley Scott you know he's a director that I've wanted to work with for a very long time he's made some of my favorite movies and and then to have like this cast is ridiculous I mean Jessica Chastain and Michael Peña and I mean Chiwetel and Jeff Daniels I mean just on and on and on so uh, so yeah no this was another uh, you know I I, I feel very lucky when I wake up in the morning. During the evacuation, astronaut Mark Watney was killed. You have the opportunity to go uh, to Mars, but you can take three things and three persons with you. Who would you choose and what would you choose? Uh, well, let's see. I think I'd need, I'd have to take air, food, and water. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I got four kids and my wife, so I'd, I'd sneak, I'd sneak, you know, two, you two more in the, yeah, <laughs> yeah, in the suitcase. This is Mark Watney, and I'm still alive, obviously. I have no way to contact NASA or my crewmates. You say a lot of data. I was like crazy with, with these portions that you have to uh, put in the, the food thing and right, the, right. The, the days, there's a big deal, right? Yeah, I mean, but it's all, it was all laid out really clearly, you know, and I read through the script very slowly and kind of did the math and the margins on my own. I was like, yeah, that all makes sense. Even if I could, it would take four years for another manned mission to reach me. And I'm in a hab designed to last 31 days. So, in the face of overwhelming odds, I'm left with only one option. And then it was just kind of just practicing those monologues. You know, it's me just talking to a camera. So, you know, normally when I rehearse, I, I don't, I wait for the other actors because I, because what happens in the scene depends on what the other person is doing. No, you're alone. But for me, I was alone. So I just learned all the lines alone and just mm -hmm. showed up and did them and, and, uh, So when it was just me, we went very fast. Like Ridley and I, Ridley likes to move fast, I like to move fast, so 
And the first day I shot with him, I did this monologue. It was like a couple pages in the first take, and he walked in and he just goes, you and me should do two movies at once. Advise. <laughs> We've got a video message. It's directed to the whole crew. Play it. Mein Gott. <laughs> Mark Watney is still alive. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. My Damon, thank you very much. Nice, nice to meet you. Man. Nice to meet you. Is it possible that he's still alive? ¿Para qué es esto? Cumplen cuatro años. Cuatro años. ¿Neta? Sí. Wow.